<laughs> Today I have a question. Okay. Uh, uh, it's been a while, but I, I have a question about balance. Oh, okay. And I'd like to know um, what, what that means. Oh, okay. Um, okay, achieving balance in life is is uh, a balance between two opposing forces. Let's say, see, in order for creation to take place, there has to be opposites. Okay, to make it simple, uh, can you know the word up without knowing the word down? No. No. The two opposites need each other. Can you know a front, like my face, the front, without a back? No. They are opposites, but they need each other. Now, when they meet and become one, that's called wholeness and balance, okay? Now, we are human beings. Now, the human is made up totally in reverse of the being. Mm -hmm. The human likes to struggle, likes to seek, wants, needs, desires. It's a, it's a becoming process, okay? And it totally identifies with its past and its future. But it misses the, the moment. Mm. It misses now, this moment itself. Okay? Now, the now, this moment itself, is the being. Because the being is not something. It is... If you, if you say to me, Bert, I know I exist, uh -huh. that's all you need to know. Because when can you exist except now? You see? That is the truth. You see how simple it is? Mm -hmm. Now, if you bring the now into any situation mm -hmm. that is based on the past, because the human is always past or future, mm -hmm. that creates balance. Now, how is that done? Okay. Um, see, people have a tendency to resist. You know, let's say um, a woman wrote me this morning and she said, uh, she said, there's a part of me that likes to get even with people for mm -hmm. hurting me. Yeah. And I said, yes, that's human. That is the human part that wants to get even. Mm -hmm. I said, and, and when you want to get even, you, you think that you're going to feel better. But what it does, you carry that inside you and you stop liking yourself. You see, but it's a very subtle point. Because you're, you're dwelling on getting even, which is resistance of resistance. In other words, you are building upon, just like what anger, you know, anger creates more anger. We are angry, and then we become aware that we're angry, and I'm angry for being angry, or I feel guilty. For being guilty. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I don't want to feel guilty. Then I feel guilty for feeling guilty. Yeah. You see, that is the nature of the human. Well, now when we move into the being, the being is called allowing. Remember, the being is not an entity. This is not something separate. It just is. It is the truth of now. So therefore, when we resist, when we resist, and then become aware that we're resisting, and allow it, take a deep breath, and says, oh my goodness, I was resisting. And you can smile about it. Oh. The moment you allow it, you are in being. So the being part in us is that part that allows, forgives, loves, you see? And um, so when you allow the human to be what it is, whatever, whatever, to, it is. whatever it is, you allow it to be because there's nothing you can do about it. If you fight against it, it gets worse, yeah. you see? So therefore, allowing is your only option. Well, the moment you allow it, automatically you removed the resistance which created the adverse condition. Are you with me so far? Now, yeah. so the moment you allow and remove the the um, the uh, resistance to it, all of a sudden you begin to relax in it. Well, the moment you do that very allowing, you see. And the human and the being become one, they're whole at the moment, because you're not resisting the human, you're allowing the human. So by allowing the human in its completeness, there's a feeling of wholeness. Why? People say, well, <clears throat> if I allow the anger, the anger is going to get worse. No, because anger is resistance. If I am angry at you, something in me is feeling helpless, something in me 
wants to control you, but I don't feel that control myself. So how dare you? You see what I mean? But if I allow it within me, feel this, this need to be angry, but all of a sudden it says, okay, there is anger. Acknowledge it and allow it. Well, the moment you allow it, you'll find it begins to heal automatically. Okay. Because people say, well, how do I heal my human suffering? You don't. You cannot do it. But you can allow it. Well, the moment you allow, that's the healing. See, healing, what healing means, means allowing. Mm -hmm. You see? Many people have had, uh, oh, cancer remissions. Uh, and uh, it didn't repeat again. Or mm -hmm. people have had tremendous uh, sudden healings. Mm -hmm. But when they look back, what happened? Something in them stopped resisting, stopped and allowed. Well, the moment you allow, that's the healing between the human and the being. You see? Okay. You see? And, then, and that's what the wholeness is. So when we, when we see a person and they, they feel whole, you see, they love who they are, but not because they, they, they think they're special. It's because love is the only thing that works. Because love is the being itself. I am being in this moment with you. I am not thinking I am this or I am that. I just am. I exist now. In that, there is wholeness. You see? Which is completion, which is unity, which is harmony, which is balance. So that's the answer to your question. <laughs> well, I think I think I understand. Um, for some people, or some things must be more difficult to allow than other things, given like, oh, your context. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So say if there's a religion or a society which condemns a certain thing, and like, maybe says you should try hard and resist and fight no matter what until you get it, or something like that. Right. And, and the person's having difficulty. And they're trying within themselves to allow yes, but because everything else seems to be turning against them. What, what, what should they do? Right. At that point, the same thing. First of all, wh what, what makes it very difficult to allow? It's the conditions. The more conditions well, not only you, you are, but everybody around you. That's right. Well, first of all, you, you do not concern with what is around you. Because you cannot control the outside. You okay. allow that too. You know, because the outside is really how you are in the moment. If the outside is bothering me, who is it bothering? Me. Okay? So there's nothing you can do about the outside. The outside is a part of you. It's, your, it's in your perception. So what you can do, again, is learn to allow. Now, it is very hard, and you raised a very good point, mm -hmm. it is very hard to allow religious background because religion becomes so ingrained that you actually believe it to be the truth. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, certain religions, for example, they minimize the importance of the woman. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And so you're brought up to believe that this is so that you're actually convinced. Mm -hmm. And so when all of a sudden you have to look and say, well, how do I allow this? You see? It becomes very, very hard. So again, you accept the fact that it is hard, but you begin to realize the importance of allowing itself. So this is where it is not the circumstances, because circumstances are the result of the being. Mm -hmm. you see, what we believe, in other words, but the belief itself that we have to tackle. So therefore, the only way to tackle it is to see it as a belief that has been conditioned into us. But the reality is this, when am I the happiest? When am I totally myself? When do I feel whole? It is when I am totally in the moment and not caught in trying to control, try to deny or try to resist. When I am, you see, and by becoming aware of that, which is, I, I admit, it requires quite a bit of um, awareness. Okay, when that starts to happen and become a part of your life, that very I amness, I am now existing, I am here now is the truth. The moment you do that, then all, all that begins to change. We begin to see a belief as a belief. And you are not a belief, you are a being. You are not a doing. You are not a human doing, you are a human being, you see? So by placing importance on being, always, always allowing, loving, accepting, you see, forgiving. By doing that, people think, oh, but that's weakness. It is the absolute. 
that is the highest strength of all.